Hi, this is Eric with Parts Doctor, and today we're going to show you how to replace the condenser fan motor assembly on your GE refrigerator. If you need to purchase a new condenser fan motor assembly for your refrigerator, check out our website, PartsDoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. Since we'll be working on the refrigerator's electrical components, disconnect the power to the fridge. The condenser fan motor dissipates heat from the condenser coil. If the condenser fan fails, it can cause the refrigerator to not cool properly or to stop cooling entirely. With access to the back of the refrigerator, move the screws holding the compressor access cover in place using a 5 16 inch nut driver. Then slide the cover up to remove. The condenser fan motor assembly is located here. Next, disconnect the two electrical connectors by depressing the locking tabs. Then, peel the foam up and gently pull the refrigerant tube forward and down. With the refrigerant tube out of the way, pull the motor housing towards you to free it from the locking tabs. Then, lift the assembly up and swing the bottom out. This will require a great deal of effort. Push the top away from the condenser coil and pull the fan assembly out of the machine compartment. If you need to purchase a new condenser fan motor assembly, you can check out our website, PartsDoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure you are searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you are getting the correct part. To install, start by aligning the felt tape to the fan assembly, then peel back the paper and press into place. Next, insert the fan assembly into the machine compartment while pressing down on the refrigerant tube. Make sure the condenser coil seats into the bracket on the motor housing. Align the tabs on the assembly to their notches in the mounting bracket by swinging the bottom of the fan assembly into place. Then, while firmly pressing down, wiggle the assembly into place so that the tabs rest beneath the retainers. Reconnect the electrical connectors. Align the access cover to the compressor compartment, being sure that the two tabs seat behind the lip and slide into place. Then, reinstall the screws. And that's it for today's video, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.